Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Penny and Coco Kids. To save myself some time today, instead of uh, videotaping two uh, videos for an intro, I'm just going to let you know that you can print out this coloring page from the link in the description. So you can pause the video right now and go print out your page and come back and we will get coloring. Okay, let's get coloring. So what we're gonna do is color a gingerbread house today, which is super fun. I'm very excited, it's almost Christmas. It is December 7th today, I believe, and Christmas is soon. Have you made a real gingerbread house? Or is this your first gingerbread house of the season? I have not made a real gingerbread house. So this is my only gingerbread house that I'll be making. But it's just as fun. Okay, let's get coloring. Let's start with the gingerbread part. Okay, I'm going to do this like dark yellowy color. And I'm going to start just along the edges. And then I'm going to, with the little part, and then I'm going to use the thicker part of the marker to color in the, the middle. What is your favorite Christmas activity to do? There's building or making a gingerbread house. There's decorating the tree. Christmas caroling, although I don't know if people do Christmas caroling much anymore. Building a snowman. Going tobogganing. Well, I guess those are just winter activities, but Usually around Christmas we do those types of things. I like Christmas baking. I've already made shortbread cookies, gingerbread cookies, and I've made peanut butter balls, which are like peanut butter Balls covered in chocolate. Mm, they're very good. Okay, now I'll use the big part. Oh, and I also made peppermint bark. That's fun too. Yummy. Okay. The front of the house is done. If I'm coloring too fast for you, just pause the video and catch up and then pre press play when you're ready and we can keep coloring together, okay? Don't get overwhelmed if I'm going too fast. And don't be upset if you get outside the lines too. It's okay. We're just coloring for fun. And you can color these things whatever colors you want. You don't have to be the same as me. Art is unique. Everybody's is different. Hey. Oh, that looks good. 
Okay. Now, the next thing we'll do. Oh. There we go. Had my lids on backwards is let's color in the little Christmas trees at the front here. I'm going to do a light green. There we go. And a yellow star. This color. On top of the tree. Okay. <clears throat> and then let's color our door in red or like a pinky red. Um, I'm going to use this one. Pretend it's like a pink icing door. And I'll leave the wreath white to color in green after. But remember, you can color yours whatever colors you want, okay? Just do your best. And we'll do that wreath, this darker green. Cute. Okay, now let's color our roof. So we have lots of gumdrops up there and some icing. And so let's color in uh, the gumdrops. I'm going to start with red. I'm going to do like three different colors. So I'll just start coloring them kind of randomly red. Um, we'll do that one red. And that one red. That one. There we go. I'll color some of them. I'm going to do yellow. What color there? And then some of them I'm going to do this gumdrop green color. My markers are flying away. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so let's now color in the um, window, I'm going to do this bright red. And I'm going to use this red for the peppermint as well. So it 
has to go every other is red. It's uneven. That's okay, we'll use some green in there too. There we go. Okay, now let's use the color of our gingerbread house again. Because we're gonna color in these little parts up here, or I am so that the icing can stay white and look like icing. starting to look like a gingerbread house roof. Yay! There we go. Okay, now let's color in our gumdrops on the bottom here. There we go. And I'm going to color my windows in like a really, really pale blue. Okay, and last but not least, our little gingerbread man. I'm gonna color him in like that color again, but I'm gonna leave the icing parts on him white. So he looks like a gingerbread man. If you get outside the lines or accidentally color them in, just don't worry about that, okay? Even I make mistakes, too. See? I colored in some of his icing. It's okay. Mm-hmm. 
Now, my videos in December might be um, less consistent because I am a bit busy, but I'm going to try and get as many as I can up, okay? Um, but just bear with me. And, okay, there we go. Our gingerbread house coloring page is done. It looks great. Yours looks great, too. Um, thank you so much for coloring with me today. I had so much fun, and I hope you did, too. Remember that all art is beautiful, and I will see you next time. Bye!